Now we're ready to export this over to SolidWorks, and there is a, a specific way that we need to do that in order to make this a uh, really effective process. Once again, having to do with this registration. You see, we want to make sure that these graphics are centered in our new document when we drag them into SolidWorks. Clearly, we can drag them around once they're in SolidWorks. We can move them around manually. That's fine. But uh, it's nice if they come straight out of Illustrator and go straight back to SolidWorks and end up exactly in the right spot, right? Like I said, the graphic designers took the time to line this stuff up with the drawing the way they want it to be, so why wouldn't we try to get that perfect if we can? So the way to do that is kind of using a little trick. You see, when we create a new document here in Illustrator and hit OK, uh, what we know is that when Illustrator creates a blank document, the top left corner of the artboard, right up here, that is 0, 0, 0 on that artboard. Okay, so let me turn off pixel preview here because I'm working with a vector document. And I'm going to take this stuff here. This is the first stuff I want to I want to export. I'm going to copy it, go back over to this new document, paste it in, and then I'm going to drag it so that the origin point of our created uh, um, axis system here ends up exactly at the top left corner of our artboard. And we can snap it there. It should end up pretty much exactly perfect at that corner. There we go. So now we know that this is going to come into SolidWorks at the exact center of our object. It's going to be perfect. And you know it looks kind of ugly here. It's weird. But it's a great trick to know about. This is the center of our Illustrator document. And that will be the center of our SolidWorks document. Now, I actually want for these uh, separate colors to be separate sketches in SolidWorks. So I'm actually going to go through here and delete this stuff. Oops, I want to keep my, uh, my origin there. I just want to get rid of this blue stuff. There we go. And now we can export this for use in SolidWorks. Now, I'm going to have to do that for each separate color. So I'm going to do it once and then expect that you're able to go through and do it for all of the others if you so desire. OK, so I'm going to say File, Export. And then I'll export this as something. In this case, this is my playback controls. I'm going to export it as a DXF file and hit Save. Yes, I want to replace. Now, uh, I, the scale is really important here. It happens that this document in Illustrator is in inches, which is why it is chosen inches by default as the units for our DXF file. The thing about DXF is that it does not contain the units of your dimensions. Each unit is just one generic unit. And so we need to tell it how big we want this to be. In this case, we're using inches. We need to remember that and hit OK. Now we jump back over to SolidWorks. And I'm ready to import this into my master model. So I'm going to open up my master model. And here in the master model, we're ready to insert that new DXF file. Now, to insert a DXF file, we first have to choose a plane where we want it to be. So let's select the top plane, Insert, DXF. If we hadn't selected a plane first, it wouldn't work. Now we come up here to the Playback DXF we just created. Hit Open. And it's going to ask us how we want to import it. We want to import it as a 2D sketch. Hit Next. And the units that we chose when we saved this file were inches, right? And so it needs to say inches up here at the top. Frankly, it doesn't matter which units you want to work with. I'm a millimeters guy in general. It's just that most of these programs work in inches by default, so I leave them that way. So inches is good. I hit Finish. It's going to import this as a sketch. It's going to warn me about some stuff that doesn't matter. I'll hit Yes. And when it brings it in, all of this stuff is now in exactly the right place. And we have these construction lines right here at the origin to prove it. Right? So this is just great. I don't even have to move this stuff. One more step, now that these are in here, actually two. The first step is to check for any problems with our geometry. Because when we import stuff from Illustrator, there is a really good chance that there are going to be problems with it. So let's go up to our Repair Sketch icon up here in the Sketch toolbar. And it's going to search through the sketch for any overlapping pieces of geometry or straggling lines or things like that that inevitably come through most Illustrator documents. And in this case, it says, no problems found. So we are in good shape. So we'll select all of this stuff. And then right here in this little shortcut bar is Make Block. We're going to make this into a block. Hit OK. And now I can rename this block something more appropriate. So I'll rename this my Playback, for example. That way I'll know what that is. Now I can exit my sketch and we're ready to import the next DXF. 